what's good and welcome or welcome back to my channel it's your girl victoria and i'm back with another video and today i'm recording part two of my black owned bag haul so if you're interested to see what new bags i got or added to my collection stay tuned victoria shanti always on the move medicine and game and she running up the views hair care skin care maybe it's shoes she can do it all you ain't never gotta choose victoria shanti like and subscribe for brand new content so what's up i'm finally filming a part two to my original video if you haven't seen my black bag my black owned bag collection um click the little thingy you know the little tabs you see it right now go check that out and you will see the previous haul or you know just sharing my collection and i'm gonna do a part two today so today i have six different designers to show and in the last one i only had three so i did kind of expand you know get some new bags some that i've been eyeing and i've finally been able to get so um without further ado let's get right into the video so the first brand i will be starting with today is tote and carry and i should have showed y'all this in the first um video because i've been had this set and it is a set so they are two bags i guess you could say so the first thing i want to show y'all is the backpack let me so we do have this tote and carry leather backpack and i do the set i have i'm pretty sure it's lavender it is a darker color um but it's really cute and i use this set for traveling so this is the backpack um, I love it. It's perfect for like a laptop, like a carry-on. You know, Southwest, you can have two carry-ons. It's usually the set for me, the backpack along with the duffel bag. And I will link all the bags in the description box or even just the websites to get them because I can't remember if this is the large duffel or the extra large duffel. But yeah, I think I got this like early 2020. Sorry if you can hear the cars outside, but I got this early 2020 and I've taken it on a few trips and I'm pretty sure y'all should see them in the travel vlogs. So I'll link some here if you guys want to check them out. But yeah, I love these bags, real spacious, especially this duffel bag. Like this kid, I could just carry this on a weekend trip if I'm going somewhere, but knowing me, I'm gonna have a little suitcase too. But yeah, I love it, the gold hardware. And they have, um, I'll go back to the backpack. These little tags on them. And you actually have the option to like get your initials on it. And I thought that would have been cute, but I wouldn't have had it in time for a trip. Um, so yeah, Tote and Carry, check them out. Brand number one, check. And I'll try to show these in chronological order of how I got them. So yeah, so the next brand I will be showing is Sis. And I'm pretty sure if you're, you know, up to date on the black owned bag world, um, you know what type of bag sis makes they make the protect black people bag or protect black women bags um clothes and they have other cute different smaller bags and stuff like that but i have the white medium protect black people bag and baby every time i wear this i get compliments because period and i decided to get in, get it in white because it's like a juxtaposition you hear me it says protect black people but it's on a white bag it was giving to me so i got it and this was a lot this is a lot lighter than i expected it to be i don't know i think i'm used to telfar quality and this is vegan leather too if i'm not mistaken but this is just um a lot lighter i'll just put it that way the fat the material is thinner um but don't get me wrong it's still durable and it does come with a strap a long strap adjustable you can you know carry it this way carry it handle i usually do either crossbody or you know a little a little number like this and let me show you how the dust bag like i want to like make something out of this but at the same time i don't the dust bag has the same message on it and it's just so cute so yeah so this is sis um i already you know put it up on the screen how to spell it and it will be linked down below i don't know if this color is still available but they have some other colors too um they have smaller versions larger versions different styles so you know go check them out so that is brand number two see last time i had like duplicates and i will when i get to you know tell far i'll go to that last but um now i'm just trying to expand and buy more and my last video had some comments like oh what do you think of this designer so and so and so why don't you show this bag and um 
I'm not just gonna buy a bag to have it. I have to love the bag, be in love with it. I have to know how I wanna style it and know that I'm gonna wear it because they are investments, especially as a collector. You know, this is something I like to do, so I wanna love my bags as much as I do. So I don't just wanna have random bags on the shelves that I might consider reselling, you know? So that's just my opinion. And for the people who are asking about Brandon Blackwood, yes, I'm not just gonna buy a lunch a lunch pail I feel like that's the bag everyone has and I have a lot of bags that already have that square structure that's a small handle bag so you know they're really cute don't get me wrong but it's not for me now moving on to Brandon Blackwood I will show you the look at this bag look at now this is a bag this is a bag and it might look real small like compared to my hand or whatever but this bag holds I kind of want to say more than a small Telfar simply because, you know, you can't really have your iPhone in a small Telfar. You know, it's going to be sticking out. But this, you can lay your phone down like horizontally and it will be tucked. I think the first time I wore it, I had like my phone, my card holder, lotion, hand sanitizer, a mini edge control, edge brush. Um, so, yeah, it's a it's a pretty decent size. Um, and I love I don't have anything like this silhouette or this mini bag and um i love denim like denim can go with anything it's like yes it's blue denim but at the same time it's like you wear jeans with any color boom same thing and this bag did come with you know a, a longer strap too but you know in my opinion the dainty little i forgot what shape it's like a mini duffel bag it's really cute to me i really like that but the only thing is around the handles let me come closer around here it started fraying a lot like after one wear and you know i get it it's denim but i don't know if that's a quality thing like these go like this it started fraying and i you know i don't hate that but at the same time i would have loved to wear the bag i would love like i was saying i'd love to wear the bag more than two times before I start seeing little imperfections or like threads but all in all cute bag I love how he put his name right here in the silver detail it's on the zipper as well um but yeah love this cute now moving on to Yato bags and y'all know I have a couple already but they did a collab with Hirschfield Hirsch I don't know but I will put it on the screen and like I said before it'll be in the description excuse me who they did a collab with her sheer her child her spiel. don't know but I'll put it on the screen and in the description and they had like four bandana bags and they were like dip dyed and I don't have a green bag so I was like if I'm gonna get one of these because I already have two bandana bags uh, like I said, you know, go check out the first collection um, and you can see what bag I have. But I have two and if I was going to, because I love the bag, drop dead gorgeous. Like it's just the the silhouette for one, this whole idea of, you know, carrying it one handle, it's just fire to me. So I had to get a color. In order for me to buy it, I had to like pick a color that I don't have. And any other, you know, not just Yato bags, but any other my other bags. And I decided to go with the green. It's giving very Rasta. It goes from the red at the top, just a little hint of red, um, orange, yellow, and then all the way down to green. I love the ombre effect. And if y'all have one of these bags and you have one of the original just plain Yato bags, let me know if you think that I feel like the the fabric on this one is thicker than that one i don't know it might just be me i don't know but y'all let me know if you have the bags um but yeah this is really cute follow me on instagram because i did already style like all the bags i already showed you and some of the ones coming up um but yeah you know nothing much to this i already talked about this in the last video so um yeah on to the next so our next designer is nathaniel noir and let me just this bag is very different for me. Um, it's metallic. Um, it's very structured, which I like. I think this is like one of my first. I feel like this and the homage bags are very structured and I like that, like not flimsy and they're not gonna give out in a few years, you feel me? Um, but I love this bag. I love the size, I love the compartments. Um, I styled this as well. 
And I feel like not a lot of people be, you know, flexing their Nathaniel Noir bags. And um, I think they're adorable. Like, they're really cute. They come in smaller options. They're very different. Um, they're not as simple as some of the other designs. And as in simple, I mean like one color. He has a lot of metallics, you know, the crocodile print. These are really like the bag. Like the outfit is the bag. You feel me? So I really like that. And I went with this uh, metallic y. It's like, you know how like you ever seen like oil spill and it's like different colors like blue, purple, red, not red, maybe red, <laughs> but green. I think that's what this is giving. Very like oil slick, metallic. I hope the camera's picking up like the color change. Like, like it's just so cute and I like the little tag detail and this one came with a strap as well but I don't think I will ever use the strap I don't really like the strap it's a thick strap but I don't think it does anything for the bag it might even take away um, the bag is giving as is and that's how I like it so yeah like I said about the other one follow me on Instagram and you will see me style these because I'll be popping now but yeah, this is Nathaniel Noir. Go, go check him out. Follow him on Instagram. Cop a bag. Add it to your collection. And yeah. So, I've been trying to film this video for a couple months. Well, okay. Let me backtrack. For a month. I was anticipating that. I did do the Telfar Bag 3 program. I'm pretty sure it is. And they said that the latest you'll receive your bag is March 31st. But every time I've done the bag program, I've gotten them semi-early or at least like at the beginning of uh, March or like the month that they, the last month that everything ships out. So I've been trying to film this video, but I was like, I don't want to film it until I get my Telfars because I know they're on the way. Um, and I literally got them yesterday. So I was like, we record tomorrow. So yeah, so the next brand and the last brand for this video are Telfars and you know, I'm pretty sure at this point everyone knows what Telfars look like, but you gotta love them. And like I said, I'm a collector, so yeah. So the first color, like literally fresh packaging and this is a new packaging actually. Um, they have this little Velcro holding the straps together, which none of my other bags that I purchased before this time had this. So, you know, that's cool something new very cute but I got the mini or the small painters tape and I got blue I know I showed y'all okay so when I ordered this I didn't have blue bags like that but now I got like the denim but that's kind of like a neutrally type of bag and then I got the noir bag which is green purple and blue um and then I also got a Marc Jacobs tote bag and like a ash blue but none of them stand out like this so i got it so this is just so cute i wanted another colored bag um i didn't need any more pink purple yellow you know i have those color orange red so last thing was blue and yeah i'm excited to style this i actually have a shirt actually i'm not gonna tell y'all but i do have kind of like a spring lookbook and styling video coming up so you can expect to see some of these bags so turn a post notification on subscribe to my channel so you're up to date when i post those videos because believe it i'm giving fashion girl like period <laughs> okay so i did get this painter tape in a small and then the last bag that i got this time is a medium brown bag so give me a second so here is the medium brown bag and this is i feel like this is a solid um you know everyday bag that's not just black or white or gray i don't know if those colors are everyday but this is not that long story short um so yeah i have the tan one and this is actually my second medium um i have a lot more small ones but i wanted to get the mediums in kind of neutral colors like say if i'm going to school like class or if i have like a business or work thing to go to i think it's the perfect size for carrying like my personal items as well as maybe like my iPad, my planner, things like that. So I try to get those in neutral colors because they're more for like everyday wear rather than, you know, the fit, even me. 
So yeah, I'm glad I picked this one up. I'm glad I got it. And funny story, let me tell y'all. So the last day of the bag program, I was like texting my mom and she was like, um, did you see the bag program? And I was like, yeah, I just, you know, ordered two bags. And she was like, I ordered two bags too. She said, I got a brown medium or the chocolate. I think it's chocolate. Either way, names on the screen. The chocolate medium one. And then she got the, it's like a metallic cobalt. It's cobalt blue one and medium too. And I was like, mom. I got the medium brown one, chocolate one, whatever. And then I got a little blue one. I'm like, we was on the same wave. I was like, wow, you know, I'm my mama's daughter. <laughs> but okay. So that is all for this video. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Um, you know, leave a comment down below. What's your favorite bag or who your favorite designer is? You know, put me on. I like to put y'all on. Um, I think... All of the other ones are pretty big, but you know, if you're looking for a new up and coming designer, I would definitely check out Nathaniel Noir. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and getting this far in the video, and I will see y'all in my next one. Victoria Shanti, always on the move. Medicine and game, and she running up the views. Hair care, skin care, maybe it's shoes. She can do it all, you ain't never gotta choose. Victoria Shanti, like and subscribe for brand new content.